Hey everybody, my name is Rubius and welcome to a new episode of Assassin's Creed The Real History. In this series, I compare events and a selected character's life within one of the Assassin's Creed games to the actual history the individual lived through. As always, beware of major story spoilers. For today's episode, we will be exploring the history of Mary Reed. Although she may be our first female character that we'll be featuring, we'll still follow the format of giving you her pre-game history, to better understand her past, then her in-game history, which we will see in Assassin's Creed 4, and lastly we will compare what happens in the game to the real historical events. Within her pre-game history, Mary's date of birth is disputed, and could easily have been anywhere within the 1670s to 1690s. At an early age, her mother started disguising Mary as a boy so that she would resemble her deceased brother, because her family still required the financial support her grandmother was providing. The disguise worked, as her grandmother provided enough inheritance for Mary and her mother to survive well into Mary's teenage years in England. Staying in disguise, Mary later managed to find male employment, which eventually led to her working on a ship. She later enrolled into the British Navy, where she fell in love with a Flemish soldier. Following the end of the war, they settled down, and Mary opened an inn called the Three Horseshoes in the Netherlands. However, when her husband passed away, she returned to dressing like a man and later boarded a ship to the West Indies. During her service, her ship was captured by pirates, who forced her to join them. When the king's pardon was offered, she took it and began working as a privateer, until her crew had a mutiny and she joined them as they returned to being pirates. Around this point in time, we meet Mary in AC4. However, instead of simply pretending to be a man, she took the identity of James Kidd, the bastard son of the pirate William Kidd. Why look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy and yet, ten times the demon his father was. The game also depicted her as an assassin and more of an independent pirate, neither of which was the actual case. In reality, she joined the crew of Jack Rackham and became close with the female pirate Anne Bonny. Bonny began to like Reed, and therefore Mary eventually had to reveal her secret to her. Rackham caught them together once and thought Anne was cheating on him, so to protect Mary from his wrath, he was let in on the secret as well. This segment was interestingly depicted in the observatory in AC4, as Roberts and Edward watched Rackham walk in on the two women. No, this is Mr. Jack Rackham. Somewhere in the world at this moment. NASA. Well, this is happening right now. We're seeing through his eyes. Hi. I don't know, Jim. I haven't the faintest idea how to pilot a ship. That ain't work a woman does. Tosh. I've seen a score of ladies who can reef a sail and spin a capstan. And would you teach me to fight? With a cook glass, like? And maybe handle a pistol? All that and more. But you have to want it, and work for it. There's no stumbling into true success. Hey, lad! That's my lass you're making love to. You lay off, or I'll catch ya. Up your ass, Rackham. Lad's the last thing you should be calling me. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that right, is it? Lad? On Rackham's ship, the two women became some of the first female pirates. In Rackham's service, Reed helped capture multiple vessels and prisoners, one of whom she fell in love with and unofficially married by exchanging vows with him. In October of 720, a pirate hunter by the name of Captain Jonathan Barnett attacked Rackham's crew while they were having a rum party in Jamaica. After shots were fired, the men and Rackham ran away to hide in their hold, while they left the women outside to fight Barnett's crew. They were eventually all arrested and brought to Spanish Town, Jamaica, where they were sentenced to hang as pirates. However, Mary and Anne temporarily escaped this fate by admitting they were both pregnant. And from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead! Oh, Ross! May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls! We're pregnant! Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. Aye, you can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed, but only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duff the next time you come knocking. Unfortunately, Reed later died in prison in April 1721, which was accurately depicted in the game. In summary, there were many differences between Mary Reed's actual life and her representation in AC4. First, Assassin's Creed never mentioned the fact that she had previously been married. Secondly, the game gave her the identity of James Kidd, which allowed her to build her reputation as a pirate, but in reality, we have no idea by what name she went by. She was also depicted as an assassin who worked out of the Yucatan. Although there's evidently no evidence to support such a claim, it was still a great element to the game's story. 
However, the rest of her life, including her hidden gender and her death, were all wonderfully represented in Assassin's Creed 4. And on that note, we have wrapped up another episode of Assassin's Creed The Real History. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, I highly recommend you try out one of the Assassin's Creed games. Thank you all for watching. Please leave any suggestions for future characters you'd like me to cover in the comment section below. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in a future historical episode.